Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Today is gonna be a bit of a chatty, unedited video, or I would say slightly unedited. I'll just uh, cut out like the beginning and the end of this video as I was setting up. Um, but I just wanted to say hi. Uh, this is me without any sort of scripting. We're just gonna go along um, minute by minute. Um, I've been out of the loop lately. I got COVID um, a week ago and I had the whole range of symptoms. Everything except for probably the bronchitis. Like there's no persistent cough, but I got everything. Um, and so I uh, am now on the mend, um, almost back to 100%. And so um, I wanted to dedicate this video to just opening up these packages that I got. Now, I'm only supposed to be getting one package. Um, this was through Simone's um, Ink Swap 2022 event, and I'm so glad that I did this, um, but I was clearly confused um, when I got the name of the person that I was going to send the ink samples to. I assumed that we were going to be swapping with one another, and so um, off the bat on the email, I'm like, hi, I'm Leanne. I'm so excited to swap inks with you. And so I was already emailing her with the assumption that I was going to get inks back from her. <clears throat> and um, well, anyway, she is just so nice. Um, she clarified it for me and said, hey, actually you're going to get an email from somebody else who has been assigned to you. Um, but she was more than happy to send along some ink samples as well. So um, I actually have two, one from the person that was um, that I was assigned to or was assigned to me that I was supposed to get ink samples from. And then this came all the way from London, England. Um, and she is uh, the beloved person who um, was just nice enough to send back some ink samples, even though that's not what she needed to do, or that's, it wasn't even something that she had to do, but she did it out of choice. So thank you so much, VA. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get started? Oh, gotta be careful I'm not cutting. Ooh, no, oh no, I cut into a notebook. Oh, Leanne. If you hear any sort of like jingle jangling, it's my little puppy. I'm right next to this big, window that faces a sidewalk um and so she's very curious and you'll hear her collar every now and then okay so first of all i'm just kind of sad that i um, cut into this notebook but the first thing that i see here is that it's color it's color matching um i see a hobonichi notebook here oh look how i Cut an etch into this. I'm so sad. You know, it might be kind of cute for me just to cut a little notch and make it kind of it like an intentional, uh, like an intentional mistake here. Okay, that's well, gonna be kind of cute. Oh, well, there we go. Let me get this paper stuff out of the way. Cute. These are little stickers that say happy day and book darts. There's a gold book dart and a silver book dart here. Another cute sticker sheet. Oh, this is really cute. She gave me some washi tape secured on um, a playing card here, which is really fun. Oh, I love this. And some swatch cards. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. And then last but not least are the inks. Now the only ink that I've tried and the only ink that I have is the Robert Oster Fire and Ice. I've, I have a couple of ink samples, but I've yet to try any of these teal and turquoise inks. So this is gonna be really fun. In fact, I think it'd be really fun to uh, do a te teal and turquoise ink comparison video. So perhaps I'll actually save these for that as a next video. Thank you, Maria. I'll figure out what I'll use this for. Not sure yet, but I bet I can do some ink swatching in here too. 
Okay, now this is from VA and it comes all the way from London. Let's see, easy open. Oh, it is easy to open here. Oh, this is so lovely. Okay, can't wait to see what's in here. It looks like um, some, oh wow, lots of lovely items in here. So in this paper envelope, I received, oh, this is cute. Little paper, uh, what do you call these? Like post-it notes of sorts, but like book pages. Mm. Some lovely little note cards. More washi tape. I like her uh, aesthetic, lots of muted colors, neutral muted colors. Wow, these are a lot of stickers that I'm getting. This is going to be a bit of like a travel, a travel theme here with stamps, vintage boarding passes and tags, which is really cool. Oh wow, this is fancy. Now I'm feeling kind of bad because I don't think I gave her as many items as she gave me, but these are really lovely. We have an Amazon delivery guy coming, so excuse the bark. Judy, it's okay. Okay, so going back to these stickers, these are just a lovely set of stickers. It looks like there's like a picnic scene here. Plants, I love plants. Um, well, really, who doesn't love plants? But, you know, indoor plants have really been a thing during the pandemic. Uh, we have more washi tape. Oh, these are nice. This would be great for um, Hobonichi planning. Oh, wow. Now, this is like a large washi tape. Like, the whole page is sticker and there's no cutouts in here but this is very nice and then an, an, an extra sheet here thank you so much VA this is above and beyond like I wasn't even assigned um, to you I wasn't supposed to receive anything so this is just so generous thank you so much what do we have here Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute. It's got my name here. Oh, wow. So this says, I made these fountain pen friendly traveler's notebook inserts for you to swatch and play with inks. Also, I kept the off for scrap paper. Enjoy. Wow, VA, thank you so much. Oh, so this is scratch paper. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, this is stunning. She hand stitched it, which is just gorgeous. I don't know if you could see that detailing there. Hand stitched and then she tied it off there. Oh, this is beautiful paper, and I'm not sure what kind of paper this is. But it's got a bit of a watermark, which is really lovely. And the cover is just so cute. So simple in its design. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, there's our puppy again. It's okay, Junie. Beautiful. So I've got a cream insert and then also a white page insert thank you so much okay what do i have here um a sample of kwz honey that's awesome i've been wanting to try this for so long uh, there's troublemaker abalone and yoseka ceramic tongue tang mi say blue i believe 
Now these are all inks that I have yet to try. The Troublemaker inks have been really hard to get a hold of here in the States, or maybe that's just worldwide. Um, and uh, VA has told me that her favorite ink at the moment is Yoseka uh, Ceramic Tongue Mise Blue. Excuse my pronunciation if I have it incorrect. Um, and KWZ Honey is an ink that I've been wanting to try for so long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these inks. Um, a la Leanne, like Leanne style here. So we have KWZ Honey. I don't know if it's gonna fit in my container or my holder here. It may not. Oh, beautiful. So even though this Yoseka ceramic ink, it's blue, it's a bit of a greeny blue according to VA, and then Troublemaker Abalone. Oh, I can't wait to try. Okay, so where shall we begin? Let's, first of all, I'll show you what I'm going to swatch all the inks with. Um, so as you know, in a lot of my previous videos, and actually I haven't really talked about this explicitly in my videos, but this is essentially a stainless steel cup. You can buy this on Amazon. I bought it as like a set of three. Um, and it comes with like a, um, a silicone lid. So I used these inks, or not these inks, but I used these containers prior to Leanne Likes, you know, prior to my fountain pen hobby, purely for condiment containers for my kids' lunches. Um, and when I was trying to find something to swatch the inks with, um, I raided my kitchen and thought this would be the perfect swatcher. So this is what I have, a condiment uh, stainless steel cup. I've got an eyedropper. Um, now this is also really interesting. The tip here is the stainless steel nib by Kakimori. Um, and then this here is a lead holder. It's like, gosh, is it a five millimeter lead holder? I'm not quite sure. But I saw something like this by, um, I'll link her videos, but it's Ink Ink. And she's a Korean um, YouTuber who also talks about fountain pens and fountain pen inks. And she likes to put her Kakimori nibs in the Kaveco SketchUp lead holder. And so that really inspired me to find something like the SketchUp. Um, and so I looked around and I found that Koinor Versatile, Versatile. Um, and this is 5340. This is a little bit more of uh, an affordable option. Um, but you could, essentially, I just took out the lead that was in here. And then as you could see, if you press the button in the back, it opens up the catch or the holder. And then I'm able to insert my nib. So there's that. Um, gosh, I also want to tell you, I broke my <coughs> beloved glass nib. Oh, there's our juniper again. Um, I broke my glass nib by Kakimori, my favorite glass nib ever. Um, and so now as I'm trying to look online to buy a new one, they're nowhere to be found. They're all sold out everywhere. I actually emailed Kakimori to see if they were going to produce more and they say they're not sure. They're not sure if they will. So this is really a call to any of you, any of you who, you know, any of you who has purchased, any of you who's purchased this Kakimori glass nib um, tried it out and you find that you just don't like it, please reach out to me um, because I would love to be able to purchase one from any of you who might have an extra one laying around. Um, I, and I'm willing to, you know, Venmo, like, just properly purchase it from you. So um, yeah, I was pretty broken hearted when I had dropped this. I dropped it and it just shattered. So anyway, so there's that. And then also I have the Kakimori pen nib as well. Okay. Oh, and this is also kind of fun. Um, this is a black wing pencil, but you know what? I am really intrigued by the eraser. So, um, you know, essentially stamps are all rubber or made of rubber. And so I, I think it might be a fun experiment to dab the um, eraser tip into the ink and make some swatches that way as well. Okay. 
And what's fun about this video is because I'm really not gonna do any sort of editing. So you'll get to see me do the swatching without like cutting out any extra content. You're just gonna see everything from beginning to end. Let's see. Let's start with KWZ Honey. And I like to put two drops. I'm gonna grab my water here just to clean it out. I also wanna give a shout out to Simone who came up with this event. Um, I don't know how long you have been organizing the ink swaps. Um, this was my first time. Of course, it would be my first, first time hearing about it because I just got into fountain pens earlier this year. Um, but I think it, it was it was so lovely. You get to meet people from around the world. You know, you can choose to either send inks um, or be paired with somebody from either you know within your country or internationally. And I was wanting to, you know, get connected with somebody outside of the U.S. And so it was just a lovely experience to meet a fellow fountain pen enthusiast and just talk talk about inks and the things that we're really excited about. So. Okay, so here we go. Hi, Junie. That's my puppy, if you can hear her sniffing. All right. Oh, that's gorgeous. VA, I have to say that I love this ink. Love it, love it. Okay. I wonder if I can dip this nib all the way in here. You see this? Okay. K W C. Oh, this is beautiful. It reminds me of a three oysters caramel macchiato. There we go. That's beautiful. And then I also have my Sasaki vintage glass dip pen. Let's give that a try. Look how fine of a line this writer gives. It's beautiful. And you can tell just the variation of color just by the sort of writing implement that you use. Okay. And then let's try the black wing eraser. Let's see if I can get a proper dip in here. Okay. Let's see, where should I do this? Not too bad. Okay, there's KWZ Honey. Okay. Actually, I might even take out the eraser and do a nib and by, or not a nib, but dip it a little bit deeper into the, the ink there for my next swatch. Okay, now let's see. Let's try Troublemaker Abalone. Okay. Somebody, um, I think one of the viewers had mentioned that we can find Troublemaker ink samples on eBay, but if you know of any other places where I can get Troublemaker, is ink, Troublemaker inks, please let me know in the comments below. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to lift up this cup. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, gorgeous. 
I don't know if you could see this. Maybe I'll bring the notebook up close. But there is a bit of a green tinge here. Um, and then it's just got little bits of, well, obviously there's blue. There's like kind of like a greenish blue and a little bit of like a, like a baby blue or like a periwinkle. Okay, I'm grabbing my stainless steel nib. Beautiful. Now I'm getting my glass dip, my glass pen here. Oops, oh no. Well, I grabbed the, the towel and it kind of smeared my ink swatch. That's okay. Oh, I love how muted this color is. And it looks quite gorgeous with the KWZ Honey. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna change my seating. Oh, excuse me. All right. Now I have my black wing eraser here. Dip it in. Troublemaker abalone. I don't know if I could reach it. I think I might need to actually have it back on the, the uh, pencil just so I can get into the ink. Okay, so I just kind of elongated the eraser tip. Okay, there we go. I find that I can make more imprints just because I have more of the ink or more of the eraser dipped into the ink. So I just have more ink to, uh, to make more of the stamps here. That's pretty. Okay. Okay, last but not least is the Yoseka Ceramic Tang Mi Se Blue. camera. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Cleaned it out one extra time. actually gonna stick it in a little bit more to see if I can get um, if I can get closer to the tip if that makes sense okay Ta 
song may say blue. Gosh, I think these three colors look so beautiful together. Beautiful. They're very complementary, these two inks. This is blue that leans and pulls a little green. And then this blue ink uh, is definitely more green and pulls blue, or at least where it starts to pool a little bit, there are definitely um, shades of blue in there. Gorgeous. Okay. Got my glass dip pen. Beautiful. So not only did I get sick this time around, um, but my son also got sick. So I tested positive. I started getting symptoms and tested positive on a Tuesday. And then four days later, uh, my son tested positive. And so he missed a full week of school um, and he actually just went back to school today. And thankfully for me, um, a, a lot of my work is virtual. So I was able to kind of um, adjust my schedule that I could do everything virtually for work. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the black wing stamping. Oh, I'm not able to get that many stamps. Let me see, maybe I just didn't dip it enough do it again. Gosh, I love um, how it goes from dark to light. It's so pretty. I think it makes a striking visual. Okay, I'm just going to take a look on the camera to see how it looks, but I think it looks so gorgeous together. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out to Maria, who lovingly also wrapped up, secured each sample with saran wrap, with cellophane, and then added the ink cap on top. So I'm definitely going to feature these inks in a teal and turquoise um, ink comparison video, and that'll come up. So thank you so much, Maria. And VA, thank you so much for these ink samples. They look so gorgeous together. Um, and I'll provide her Instagram account so you can check her video or to check her content. Um, but I absolutely love each ink. Um, I've really been into, gosh, I do love my saturated, uh, my more vibrant colored inks. But uh, lately, maybe it's just the changing of the seasons, but I'm loving the muted colors. The KWZ Honey, I absolutely love because I've really been loving like the golden yellow fall tone colors. The Troublemaker Abalone is just is gorgeous in that um, it just shades beautifully. And there's some complexity to the colors. It's, it's blue with, with this um, jade green possibly, but it then segues beautifully into uh, the Yoseka ink because that green is matched in this green as well. And it's so interesting because it's a blue, it's a blue ink um, as, as the name suggests, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can see that shade. Okay, well, there you have it. And Simone, thank you so much for this ink swap event. Had so much fun putting together a package for VA and I really can't wait for next year's as well. I think this is just such a lovely, lovely um, event that you organized and I'm just so, so grateful. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, stay safe, be healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I kept the off cab. Oh gosh. <laughs>